Hi everyone, this is Arfin and today we are going to calculate CAPM by using function in Python. So we will define a function and then we will automate the process of calculating expected return through CAPM. So let's start. So first we will import libraries as always. Import vendors. Uh, speedy import numpy as np import pandas underscore data reader as web from scipy import the stats from tablet Import tablet. Let's run this. Okay, so let's define a function. Let's say capm. We need an input which will be stocks. We need a start date. We need end date. We need risk free rate. Okay. So let's define a data frame. Data is equal to pd dot data frame. Okay. Here I'm going to download data first because sometime. Uh, if our internet is slow, if there is any issue in the connectivity. So better to download data at once. In our previous video, what I have done, so I, I was generating or calculating return of number by using loop one by one. But in this one, I'm going to download all the data at once and then I will use those data by using for loop. So let's do it. Data is equal to web dot data reader stocks comma data source which will be equal to yahoo start date is equal to start date comma and date is and is equal to end date and we're going to use adjusted close. Perfect. So now I'm going to run the loop. So for I in data dot column. So what this line will do, it will take the columns from the data set and the data set is here. So whatever stocks we are going to put here, it will come here one by one in, and it will assign in I. So I will show you by printing it. So let's, let's do it. First, I'm going to calculate return. In fact, I'm going to calculate return before for loop. So data is equal to data dot percentage change. And then I will run a loop. No, so for I and data co dot columns, what are the elements uh, are required in order to calculate? CAPM. So since we are already aware, the formula for CAPM is CAPM is equal to risk-free rate plus beta into 
market return minus risk free rate. So this is the formula of CAPM. And we are going to calculate market return here. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate market return by using or benchmark return, you can say in other word, bench return is equal to Okay, so here I'm also going to change uh, the cumulative return calculation formula. So instead of calculating uh, the return, which we have done in our previous video, I'm going to calculate this return by using chain link method. So you can find chain link uh, in Google very easily, or if you have any confusion, just feel free to comment. So I will explain it and uh, maybe i can have a video if you want for chain link so okay so by default i'm going to calculate a return for snb 500 so it's gs gspc since now we have a data which is already a change so plus one minus one so what i will do here instead of round large bracket i'm going to put a round bracket here but we are going to calculate np dot product so it will be a product and then minus one so benchmark return will be calculated in this way perfect and we need to have a beta for beta i'm going to calculate beta is equal to since we are already aware that it will be from stats dot linear regression, we need X and Y. So our X will be, now I'm going to copy this formula here because we need return. Okay, so before doing anything, I'm going to drop any here. So we will not have any problem with our calculation of beta. Okay, in, in fact, we just need a return here. So data of I comma data of benchmark, which is Y. And we are going to calculate take beta. So beta will be the first value in the result. Now, so we are going to calculate cap underscore I for more than one stocks. What we have risk free rate divided by 100 plus beta so i'm going to be assign it to individual or respective variable beta underscore i and then it will be a multiplication of so we have already calculated the benchmark return here which is bench return minus risk-free rate divided by 100. So now I'm going to print cap M. Let's run this. Okay. So cap Apple, let's say, let's take the date one dash one 
dash 2020 and date let's say 12 dash 31st dash 2020 and we have a risk free rate of 2% let's run this oops so there is an error here gspc okay yeah so i didn't put gspc here it gonna be gspc so let's run it again it's perfect now so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say i Return is I'm going to take it into two decimal place dot format KFMI. So let's run this. Oops. Is it more than one? No. So one is for this. Okay, yeah. Don't forget to add it here. Now let's run this. Okay. Oops, okay, so this formula spelling is wrong. Nice. We can also multiply it with 100. So it's going to be like this. Let's run this. Perfect. So we can also add more stock here. Say FB. Let's say Ford and let's run this. Now we have Apple expected return, which is 10.14%. Facebook 9.43, Ford 7.46 and S&P 500 15.29. So this is the quickest and fastest way to automate the calculation of CAPM. Hope you like this video and hope it will be helpful for you. If you need anything else uh, in the calculation, like uh, other variables, if you want me to calculate, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel. And stay tuned for the next uh, risk count or risk statistic calculation. Thank you. Have a nice day.